So I'm just walking out of Key Biscayne. I, I just had lunch with a friend. Lives out there in Key Biscayne. I, I didn't film out there, unfortunately. But I decided, you know, I took the bus out here from work because it's right over the bridge. See, you hear those crabs running around. Oh yeah, there's a lot of them. I, get, I see one right there too. It's a crab. I think they call them coconut crabs. I heard something running around. I was like, what is that noise? In the bushes, it scared me. And it's a little crab. You know, they live on land. They're like land crabs, but I think, I'm not sure what kind, I think it's a coconut crab. Can you see it there hiding? You can barely see it. And then I was like, what was that noise? Anyway, so that's that. It was just like I heard this noise in the bush and I was wondering what it was. But there's the bus. I, I took that in from work. Um, you know, I get off at 2. I'm eating, oh my gosh, it's melting. I'm eating an ice cream. It's Hagen. Hagen on the rug. <laughs> I'm not even really an ice cream person, but look how pretty it is. And I'm... Um, it's really too far to walk, but I'm going to walk a, a bit, and then when I get tired, I'll hop on the bus. I'll have to cross the street, though. When I get, if I yank it to the bridge, I'll film the water. Let's see. Here's the biker trail. And here's the trail that goes into the tennis center. Brandon Park Tennis Center, that's where the U.S. Open, uh, not the U.S., the Miami Open is held. I can't walk and eat my ice cream and film. It's just, it's crazy. I guess some kids are taking a lesson. See, over there's the street where I was just walking. Oh, that ice cream's good. I'm still going to finish. I'm like halfway through the thing. It's my outfit of the day. And these shoes, which I actually am going to change. Um, now, you know, I, I wore them to lunch, but I'm going to change into some flip-flops that I brought. I use those for commuting usually. That when I bought the ice cream, it was so hard I couldn't even get my spoon in it. And now it's like really melting. I, I, it's almost a milkshake at this point. Okay. So now I'm going to go to the street. I'm going to walk across the bridge. I'm going to try to make it as far as the big bridge where there's um, a large body of water, the bay. I don't know if that's Biscayne Bay. Let me go towards the sun. That's better lighting, isn't it? Um, I hope I don't have nuts in between my teeth. <laughs> I just finished that whole thing of Rocky Road. I don't know, you know, although I've lived here so many years, but I have no idea if these tennis courts have, you know, it looks like they're public. I don't know. I think I'm going to look it up. But I like how the, they're blue. It's kind of cool, isn't it? See, I hear those lizards running around. They're lizards with curly tail. Yeah. I think, oh, he, see this hole? That's where those crabs live. Those crabs that, I, that you just saw, they live in these holes. Times by tree. I think that's one of those crab holes. Um, I've seen before. That might be what we hear roughly ruffling around in the bushes. Do you see the hole there? I don't see any crab crawling out. There's another hole there. See, they, they make these holes all over. I've seen them in other parts of, of Miami. Where's the, see, there's another one. And they live in there. I can't really quite see inside there, though. Sometimes you can see them. And there's something in the tree up there. It could be a, yeah, I see it. It's, a, it's an iguana. Now, iguanas are not um, native. They're actually, uh, they started po populating because of, um, what do you call it? Um, people had them as pets. They're not from Florida, actually. I don't remember where they're from. And then they start releasing their pets and then of course, they start breeding because this is an ideal, uh, you know, weather for them. They're, they're reptiles, and they, but they actually are not good for the, um, the environment here. They're not native here. They, they ruin the ecosystem. But, you know, as do pythons. You know, those are exotic species that people bring as pets. 
and then they, they end up getting loose or people get tired of taking care of them and they just, you know, throw them out into nature. And But I don't think they're good for the environment, uh, the uh, ecosystem. But those other little lizards that I saw with the curly tails, those are native. Um, I really need to, oh shoot, what was that? And they hiss at you. They're actually vegan, I, I think. Was that uh, one? Oh my God, it just scared me. Oh, oh, there it is. Look at him. I must have scared him. Now that's not an iguana. I don't know what that is, but he's gonna get hit by a car. So I wanna scare it, unless it's a female iguana. Yeah. I don't know what that is. I don't think it's an iguana though. I think iguanas are green, but they can be kind of, well, maybe it is an iguana. Just ate something. I'm not familiar. I just thought iguanas were green. But I gotta watch where I'm going because I could get hit by a car. So. I hope nothing attacks me. I'm getting kind of scared now. <laughs> I think I'm gonna cross the street and just catch the bus. <laughs> I don't want one of these things to jump out and kill me. <laughs> you know, I like nature, but I don't like to be in the middle of it. <laughs> Those lizards are everywhere. I just crossed the street and two just ran, but I guess they're more afraid of me than I am of them. Those lizards are about two feet long, including the tail. Okay, this would be a very nice ASMR video if I just calm down and just talk. So here we are. We're walking along the um, the road which leads to... Oh, I just saw something jump. Here's um, a banyan tree. These are quite interesting. I think I filmed one a few weeks ago, but it was nighttime, the time I missed the bus. These are trees that grow from the top down so the roots start from the branches and start let me see if I, I don't see any branches hanging oh there's one um, see that that's a root that's coming down from the branches and when it gets to the ground it, it grabs root into the ground but probably they keep them trimmed so that they don't get too fat keep them under control but that's why they're so hurricane proof because they just keep growing roots and roots and roots and animals live inside inside the little like pockets between the roots they live in there or hide or they're real pretty these are all over the place these are native to Miami to Florida yeah if so many people are on this walking trail then maybe walking her dog see it couldn't be that dangerous. It smells like something's rotting. Something is dead in there and it's rotting. It's some sort of animal. It could be anything. Oh my God, it stinks so bad. Something died in there. Gee whiz. Um, yeah, this can't possibly be an ASMR video because first of all, the, the cars are making too much noise. And, and I keep jumping. Although now I'm cool. Like, if I hear a rustling in the bushes, I'll probably be calm now. Because um, I already am expecting it, so I won't be jumping. You know. It is a beautiful walk, though, I will admit. I mean, if I could get used to this, like maybe do it once a week, it would be probably very relaxing. Those are probably, I wonder if they're, he whiz, he's going to kill himself. I, those might be morning glories, but the, the flowers grow in the morning on morning glories. And they usually die, but I don't see any flowers on this, so maybe it's not. Now it smells sort of like coffee because these are coffee plants. They're also native. It's a type of coffee plant that's native here. I know that because I've been on enough tours. And I know that smell. It smells a little bit like skunk, but it's not skunk. Um, yeah, it's too noisy with these cars though. That green part is the bike lane. Let's see, keep 
people really don't stick to the bike lane, I guess because they're scared of the cars. So that's the other danger. People uh, ride their bikes on the walking path when they're supposed to be riding on the green part, you know, the bike lanes. But the cars do go kind of fast, so I could see how they might be scared. But that's dangerous for the walkers if we're not paying attention. I mean, I assume they're paying attention. They're not going to hit us. Now, see, there's some... Um, there's some water. I wonder if there's anything living in there. Probably there is. It's like stagnant stream. It's probably fresh water, but the sea is nearby. And then you have parts... Um, I mean, I bet you there are some cool things living in there, but the fence is in the way. And What's that? Is that a turtle? No, it's, it's a rock or it might be a turtle. Looks like a rock. Coconuts fell in there. And those crabs are probably fresh water. I'm going to have to look it up. I think they're the coconut crabs. Or not. I'll have to look that up. Or that might be brackish water because we are uh, near the Everglades here and uh, it's not the, you know, famous part of the Everglades, but Florida is basically all Everglades and it was settled by man and, you know, you hear the history of Florida, parts of it were all dried up by man and, and we made uh, fake islands and stuff to, to settle Florida and we're ruining the Everglades until they realized that it was a good idea to, to um, you know, not mess them up. Come to think of it, I don't know where the next bus stop is because they only stop twice on this long road. They stop by Camp Grandin Park, which I just passed. And the next stop is at the Sequarium. The Miami Sequarium is on the, on the street towards Key Biscayne. So I have a feeling it's going to be a while until I get to a bus stop anyway. So I had no choice but to walk across this, this bridge. It's... I don't even want to think about how, how... Ew, 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 a squished lizard. Somebody squished a lizard. I'm, I'm not even filming it. I just saw something else that's kind of interesting. There's like this thing growing in the middle of nowhere. It's like, I don't know if a seed fell and just started growing in the middle of nothing or... What is that thing? It's kind of cool, but... It's like it's growing in the middle of nothing. I've never seen something like that. It's just growing in the middle of nothing. I mean, I've seen orchids doing that in air plants, but I've never seen an air plant that has berries. I'm gonna get a closer look by myself. See, there's more on the ground here. It has the same kind of leaves. There's no berries there. But why does that one have berries? Is it part of even the same plant? Whoops, can't find it now. Ow, I'm getting bit by mosquitoes. In the shade, there's mosquitoes. Okay, I know what this is. I've been here before. You gotta pay to get in. But it's a public park. You pay a little bit to get in. There's another park at the end of Key Biscayne, which is by a, a lighthouse towards the very end of Key Biscayne. It's called, um, it's another park. But I think this is all still part of Crandon Park. So this is a big parking lot, but if you go deeper in, you get by the water and there's picnic grounds and stuff. So if you ever come to Miami, you might want to try this park or Bill Bagley Park is the other one. That's the one that's by the beach, but it's a very natural beach. It's, you know, not anything to... It, there's a snack bar and that's it. And water. And the beach. You, know. you see raccoons out there. People aren't supposed to feed them, but they do. Alright. Okay, and here... Now, I've decided not to continue. I better just walk back. Because it's a long way to the Sequarium. And... On top of that, there's not even a sidewalk anymore. There's not even a walking path. There's just the bike path. So I'm going to get run over by bicycles. So I think what I'll do is walk back to Key Biscayne. Hopefully my battery won't run out right away. I'm going to stop talking so much. And I'm going to take the bus. Because it's too far to walk. There's And there's it's not safe, you know. I don't have a bike. And bikes are going to hit me or cars are going to hit me. So 
Okay, good to know. I don't know if on the other side there's a walking path, but I don't believe there is. I've never paid attention to this before. Ow, oh God, I'm so scared. I'm scared something's gonna bite me. So yeah, I'm getting too anxious. I, I should just take the bus home. But I think I'll come back in my car and stop on the bridge. See, look at those people. They were about to hit me if I would have been walking. So. Some elderly men. Older people are young at heart down here. Except for me. But, you know, there were some pretty old men in that group of bikers. It's a spider, but I don't know how to focus. I don't know how to focus on it. I guess I gotta pull in closer. Like, not with... No, I can't. Yeah, it's focusing on the stuff behind it. Oh, good lord. Jeepers. I almost tripped. Um, oh god, some of those lizards are huge. <laughs> I'm really scared walking back. Because, you know, the ones I saw at first were like two feet long, but I just saw some that were like, oh my gosh, they were like four feet long, including the tail. They were huge and fat. And they're probably not dangerous, because when I got closer to them as I walked, I'd see them, but you'd hear them. Oh, there's one. Oh my god. Oh my god, that one is so fat. I mean, I know you can't tell, but it is enormous. I'm not even going near it to show you how big it is. That, that thing is like, what is he eating? This is like terrifying. That's not an iguana. I don't know what that is. That's like a Komodo dragon. <sighs> and the thing is, as I get close, they're these huge... Th I tell you, he's like the length of my shin. And as fat as like... Uh, what is, he's like so fat. <laughs> and look at him eat. And I'm scared to even walk by him. You know, look, okay, look at the sidewalk. The sidewalk is about two or three feet. Okay, there's a guy coming on a bike. I hope he doesn't run over the thing. Okay, look, you can see him next to the bike. There's a big lizard there. Be careful. There he goes. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I don't know if you were able to tell the size of him by that bike, but he's really big. I mean, big for a girl like me, you know. Maybe like if you're a real nature reptile lover, that's not big for you, but you know, and if you're just walking along peacefully and you don't know they're there, and then they suddenly jump and run across your path, <laughs> you kind of scream. I'm glad I wasn't filming. <laughs> I let out the hugest scream a minute ago, not this one, the one before. I said, even though I'm running out of battery, I gotta try to get one of these on camera. But um, I think I'm out of the danger zone because we're getting close to Key Biscayne again. And the more movement there is and the more cars, the less of those lizards there are. And the, you know, the more people, because they don't like people, apparently they run away. So, so all right. And uh, soon I'll be at the bus stop, thank God. Okay, so now we're in the village of Key Biscayne. We're back at civilization now. Yeah, that's the bus stop. Oh.